there's been a backflip from the McGowan government and it's good news for home buyers. As part of Metronet, property buyers and developers would have been hit by a new land tax. But that's been scrapped amid Perth's property downturn. The McGowan government's favourite word is Metronet, the expanded rail network promising to transform public transport in Perth. And sitting alongside it has been the new age planning buzzwords, value capture, revenue raised from property developers who build around new Metronet stations, in other words, a property tax. Today, that tax is dead. As a government, we're very pragmatic, we listen. Planning and Transport Minister Rita Safiotti says plans to levy developers had been abandoned for two reasons. We were estimating $400 million for Metronet from the Commonwealth Government. We are now getting $2 billion. And in addition, the property market um, is not in a position that we think could accommodate an extra levy. The opposition calls it another backflip. The Liberal opposition welcomes the McGowan government's backflip on an ill-conceived Metronet tax, uh, which would have hurt investment and also jobs here in WA. But the Property Council calls it common sense and a win for future homeowners. Because it means they can live near a station precinct, giving them easy access to the places they need to be, but not pay thousands of dollars extra for the privilege. Even before the 2017 election, Labor had factored $267 million into its budget from value capture. Now, Mr Safiotti says the government's not that desperate for cash. We've responded to the changed circumstances. Gary Ad said Nine News.